Welcome you all once again to Marine Mechanic videos. In the last video we have seen the semi-rotary hand pump and here is the rotary hand pump. On both ships you will have a lot of lube oil drums, especially the 200 liter drum which is stored in the lube oil store, in the oil and grease store or even in the steering gear room. So to pump out the oil you usually use one such pump which you rotate it with hand and transfer the required quantity of oil from it. So how does the rotary hand pump work? That's what the topic for the day. Now this is the simple construction of the rotary pump. So here is the rotor, the actual rotor which has, which is actually eccentric to the body of the pump which means you're going to have the shaft over here and you have the handle over here so that you're going to rotate this rotor so this is the one which is going to actually rotate inside this pump and when you look at the actual pump this is not at the center of the pump this is eccentric to the body of the pump so as this rotates let's assume I'm going to rotate it this way which is anti-clockwise direction when you look in this direction. So when you rotate it anti-clockwise, what happens is this is going to rotate either in anti-clockwise direction and assuming this to be the suction, the oil or any fluid, you have to remember that we are not going to use this pump for air or any gas on board ship because for that application you got to have special seals over here then you can use for pumping gas or air but on board ship what we use is a simple pump just to pump oil or sludge or even sometimes fresh water so this is going to be the suction through which the oil which is going to come and then fill up this space and as I'm going to rotate this this vein is going to come out like this as it rotates is going to come out due to the spring force here is the spring which is going to push the vein outwards which means this vein is going to come out like this like this as the pump is going to be rotated and the other end is going to get compressed as this moves out this is going to get compressed so what it does is just pressurizes the fluid a little bit and then it goes to this channel which is the discharge. So the end trap liquid between this space as it rotates is going to travel through the pump chamber and then as the vein is getting compressed on the other end it's going to go out to the discharge port. So this is how the simple rotary hand pump works usually you will encounter a problem that it is not pumping the basic reason for that is the pump is aged enough that the seals over here starts to leak so that it is not able to pump out air enough so that it is not self priming in that scenario what you got to do is just remove off this connection and pour some oil or water whichever you are going to pump prime this area completely and then start pumping this will work so this is the simple construction for the rotary hand pump 